Alright y'all, welcome back to this edition of Gen 3 Hemi Tech. And um, what we're doing today is we're doing, we're finishing up our oil and mods. Um, we're going to take and we got the mains all opened up, got all the bearings off, and uh, we're going to chamfer out the, these oil galleys. They're, they're pretty clean, but I'm just going to go over them and hit them, hit them real quick with the light sandpaper roll. It's going to real light, lightly gentle. Gently get in there. Maybe you're just trying to remove some burrs. guys can see down in there but there is there is a little step in there that I just kind of chamfered a little bit doesn't take much this mod only should take you a few minutes <laughs> Time you get in here and do any kind of sanding, grinding, anything like that, you guys are gonna have to wash this block. I don't feel I should have to tell you guys that, but gotta use some common sense. Looking at the motor face on, you can see you see the oil galley here feeds into number one number one main cap comes up comes through here feeds up into here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of clean this up this area all up into here. Might even port port this. Not saying it's needed, but. Since, since we're doing the mods, we might as well uh, see what we can't come up with. Just lightly chamfered us. Nothing fancy. I'm going to get up in here. Harbor Freight rolls just kind of come apart, but they do a pretty so good job. If you're rebuilding the motor, you're going to want to you're going to want to take that pipe plug out and get a long brush and clean.
pretty much running this Harbor Freight brush kit down it, cleaning it up, trying to break some of it free. I sp sprayed it down with some uh, brake cleaner. This block will be getting a bath, but it's just kind of one of them things that you should probably do. Alright, we got in there and cleaned up all the water passages as well. Yeah, deburred everything, just kind of cleaned it up.